Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to do a video that was requested and that is showing you everything that I acquired from the cabin or my trip to the cabin rather. So the first thing that I got, I'll start out with the, Jaxi, stop it. She's playing with the echinacea stem and going crazy. Okay, so I'll start off with the not natural things that I got. Well, this is natural. I got this hickory wood spoon from the gas station, one of the gas stations um, that was up there. They were selling a lot of natural products um, and a lot of like handcrafted items. And this was, Mark bought himself a, I think it was a deer antler knife or something like that. I know he bought himself a knife. And then I got the spoon. I forgot a couple things, hold on. Okay. And so the next thing I got from the same gas station is this stained glass ornament. Um, they were locally, obviously locally handcrafted, but um, they had a few different designs. They had some flowers and some other stuff, uh, but this was like one of the only stars. And so I got this, It was thought it was such a pretty, I love stained glass. It's like one of my favorite um, effects, you know. And then I got these bush beans. Um, I've never grown beans before, so this will be a first um, come spring. Sorry about the really bad lighting. My um, ring light went out, so sorry about that. Uh, but yeah, I've never grown bush beans, so these are Fasilois, Fasilois, Fasilois. Vulgaris. Um, yeah. Those will be interesting to grow. And then I got this postcard of the Rhone Valley. Isn't that so gorgeous? That looks like a river right there, but that's fog. Oh, and then you can see the rhododendrons in full bloom. I want to go back in the spring when or whenever the, the rhododendrons are in full bloom because uh, can you imagine all of those green, uh, all of those bushes that I showed you, how big they were and how much space they took up. Can you imagine all of those in full bloom with like these bright pink, huge clusters of flowers? Oh, uh, I want, I'm definitely going to go back in spring. It's going to be glorious. Okay. Um, the next thing that I got okay I think that was all of the like man-made things I got the rest is the stuff I found in nature uh, oh no I got this um, no that was that wasn't from that trip I'm oh, sorry okay from nature I found okay so in front of uh, in front of the cabin remember in the videos there was that huge tall pine tree well, it had lichen all over it. And so I took some pieces of lichen. I said my thanks. I gave an offering. Don't worry. I never take anything out of nature without asking and without leaving something in return. Um, that is just, you know, the way of the witch. And it's best to follow these little practices than to question them and doubt them because you just never know. Uh, but I got some lichen from that tree. I also got some bark, but it's hanging, it's on one of my um, hanging trays drying. So I can use it in my incense blends. Because I just launched my website. So you guys, I'm so excited. I just launched my website and it is for apothecary herbs. And like, um, I want to do a feature where like you can build, I'll, I can like um, list out the you know, herbs and flowers and stuff that I have. And you can build your own incense from those um, scent notes. I think that would be a really, that's a really good idea. And I'm going to do that. I'll be working on that later on today or tonight since it is five o'clock. Mark and I are going to go to Office Depot and Lowe's. So the next thing that I, Mark found these, actually, we were walking along the driveway and he found these Buckeye nuts if the I don't know if the, that's correct because you know Mark he just kind of says stuff and doesn't really know if he's right or not he just says it so if these are 
if they to me they look kind of like chestnuts but i know chestnuts don't come in like a nut like this a nut casing the chestnut is like a spiky casing so if you guys know what these are let me know um and then i found this just perfectly cut piece of wood on the ground i was like cool so i'm gonna make a christmas ornament with this and then another thing cool I found, I was walking through the yard uh, and it had all of these um, big old trees in the yard, as you guys see, and I showed you guys the yard. Uh, but I was walking along the edge, edge of those trees and I found this walnut that has been completely, it's almost like a hagstone, but, but a nut, you know? Isn't that so cool? So if I, I didn't find a hagstone, but this, hey, this could be also seen and used as a hagstone. So I am gonna make an ornament out of this as well. Jexy, what are you doing? Huh? Why are you making so much noise? And then also in front of the um, cabin, you guys seen that big, huge oak leaf hydrangea um, that was out there. And I noticed that some of the blooms were still, the, like some of the bloom panicles were still there, but they were completely dried. So I got some of these dried oak leaf hydrangea flowers. So I can press those in my book. I have a flower press. So I can try to press these out. Jexie, get out of there. Gosh, she just doesn't listen. Um, but yeah, I can make some art with these. I plan to take my dried flowers, um, and make some, um, like arrange them and put them in frames. I'll show you guys how to do that once I do it. Uh, yeah, I'm noticing that my cheek is swollen as I'm talking. Huh. Anyway, now for the rocks that I found. I found a ton of rocks. They're mostly in the front yard. I'll probably have to show you tomorrow because it is about to get dark. Um, but yeah, I found this. It's like a big old piece. It's um, almost like a milky stone and it's got like these lines through it. To me, it reminded me of a big piece of agate, but if that's not what this is, please correct me. Um, I'm just taking a best, my best guess as I'm going. So let me get a drink of water. <clears throat> this stone I found um, sitting right, okay, so in a creek, you'll see piles of stone and then where the water kind of pools over that stone. Well, this was kind of sitting right in the center of where the water was coming down. So yeah, imagine how many years it took to carve this stone into this shape, just sitting there um, under a stream. I think that is so cool and it may not be a hagstone, you know, but there's still magic associated with this because it does kind of look like a rune, the shape of a rune. You know, there's a few different runes that are shaped like this. So that's pretty freaking cool. I also, I love to find flat stones. I don't know. I'm just enamored by like completely flat or um, smoothed out stones. I found this stone here. And it's just completely flat. It's really nice. I'm really big into textures. So like if, if, there, if a texture offends me, oh man, does it offend me in every cell of my body. I get the weirdest feelings when I feel a texture that I don't like. Um, but when I feel a texture that I really do like, uh, I can't stop touching it. And I found this stone here. You can see it's clear. This stone, uh, it's kind of that same milky kind. This stone is interesting. Okay, so on this side, it's kind of pink, right? You flip it over and boom, it's like this jade green. So if anyone knows what this is or if it's just a natural rock and that's just how it is, let me know. I found this stone, I took it because it was striped and because it was shaped like a heart. I found several stones that were shaped like hearts, actually. Um, another little piece of that see-through agate or some type of mineral, I don't know. 
I'm just guessing. This stone is so cool. It looks like a canoe. Uh, Mark, I found it and I was holding it up and he was like, that looks just like a canoe. So I intend to paint this like a canoe and yeah, I think that's really cool. Shaped by the water over that, over, how, I don't know how many years, but beautiful stone. This stone shaped like a weird fat heart. And then another stone shaped like a heart. So I found three stones, four stones because I found a big one, but it's in the yard. Four stones shaped like a heart. Oh, I got ants in my back room. I don't know, we're gonna have to deal with that. Uh, and then I found another piece of this milky type stone and two more of those. So I think that was everything. Yes, that I will have to show you the um, other stones tomorrow. So when it's tomorrow, I will be back. All right, you guys, it is the next day and I'm going to show you um, all of the river rocks that I got. You can see that flower bed I put in here. That was hard work. Those, uh, that little bush down there, those are some yellow roses. So let's go down here and I'll show you all the river rocks that I got. So here they are. Um, you can see this is one from on top of the mountain. Um, when I w went into that little area to show you guys, all these moss covered ones are from that spot. So got a lot of nice, um, really smooth rocks. Just ones that are carved by the water, as you can see. Got some grooves in it. This one was carved by the water, like this. In fact, I want to use this for candles and like an offering plate. Another one with moss all over it. This flat one that I thought was really pretty. Let's see. This one is carved by water. This here. This flat stone, this big piece of, I don't know what that is, but it's pretty. And then this smooth stones, these, uh, I don't know what kind of stones these are, but if you know, let me know. More flat stones, as you can see, I really have a thing for flat stones. And then all these ones with moss all over them, they're just gorgeous. Uh, one, this, this little weird shaped guy. Yeah, yeah, there's one down here. This flat one. So I'm gonna get these guys up on here. So yeah, that was all of the stones I got from the river. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.